What is happening and welcome to Photography Talk episode 135. Now, Nikon recently announced a camera focused on vlogging and it seems like Canon is doing the same thing. Now we have details on its rumored vlogging camera in just a moment. Now we're also going to chat about Amazon's Prime Day and some smoking deals that you can get right now ahead of the big event which is next week. Also on the schedule today is we're going to take a look at the potential updates for GoPro's Hero 11 which should be announced somewhere around the September time frame. But first guys, look, every single week we put videos like this together to keep you informed, keep you updated as far as what is happening, the prime stuff that is happening right in the industry. Now, of course, if we are successful and hell, you find some value or man, you just want to do us a solid because as you know, every single week I let you know this, when you hit that like button down below, it really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, my friends, uh, let's get on to this week's headlines. Now, it was just last week that we discussed Nikon's new Z30 camera, which is aimed squarely at vloggers. Yet, here this week, we have another vlogging camera, only this time it's coming from our friends at Canon. Now, rumor has it Canon's new vlogging camera might be the EOS R100, Now, which we briefly highlighted, uh, it seems like a couple weeks ago. Now, if this is the new camera, in fact, the US R100, it will slot into the Canon mirrorless lineup below the recently announced R7 and the R10. Now, past rumors about the R100 point to a 24.2 megapixel sensor, 4K video at up to 30 frames per second, and a small, or actually all of this, in a small compact body. Now, the camera is also likely to have a full articulating uh, touchscreen LCD that will allow you to see yourself as you're filming. Now, the last time we spoke about the R100, though, it was speculated that it wouldn't be announced to sometime until next year, 2023. But perhaps Canon has accelerated, put their foot down on the gas pedal for the timeline to get the camera on market to compete with the Nikon Z30. Or hell, this new camera Canon is rumored to be having in development could be just something entirely something different, like the M6 Mark II replacement which was an awesome camera for the US R family. Now the US M6 Mark II is a fantastic camera. Many of you know I had this camera, absolutely loved it. But the US M line really never took off. So adding a camera like this to the US R lineup would certainly be a good move on Canon's part. Now as always, we're gonna keep you guys updated on any new developments from Canon with regards to what this camera may or may not be. So stay tuned on that. Amazon's Prime Day is still a few days away, but there are already some great deals on some photography gear. Now, a prime example is a Fuji Film GFX 50R. Now, this is a medium format camera that happens to be discontinued, but while supplies last, Amazon is offering them at a 37% discount which is pretty awesome. So you can pick up one today for $2,849 rather than the original price of $4,499. That's a great price for a medium format camera. Now, another good deal uh, right now is on a 14 inch 2021 MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. Now it's $200 off, so you pay $1,799 instead of $1,999. Now the model has an eight core CPU, a 14 core GPU, and 16 gigs of RAM, a 512 gig of SSD, storage. Now, if you need a laptop that is a little bit bigger, the 16-inch 2021 MacBook Pro with the M1 chip is also $200 off. So you can pick up one for $2,299. Then this model, or this model rather, has a 10-core CPU, a 16-core GPU, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigs of SSD storage. Now, of course, there's gonna be a lot more deals once Prime Day rolls out July 12th through the 13th. So keep your eyes peeled. You might find a killer deal on a camera, a lens, other photography gear that you might be dreaming of. The GoPro Hero 11 is almost certain to launch September of this year. Now the question is, the big question here, is when it's announced, what new features is this camera going to have? Now at this point, GoPro is keeping any new specs features under wrap, which is pretty much to be expected, but that hasn't stopped the rumor mill from really churning about here. One of the new rumors uh, is that there's gonna be increase in video resolution. Now when you think about it, the Hero 10 shoots at 5.3K up to 60 frames per second and 4K up to 120 frames per second. So the Hero 11 might improve that to 6K, 60 frames per second and 4K at up to 240 frames per second. 
Now, another rumor indicates that a new bigger sensor could be in the works here. Now, if that's the case, we may see a Hero 11 with a 1 over 1.7 inch sensor, which would certainly be larger than the Hero 10 uh, 1 over 2.3 inch sensor. Now, having a larger sensor like this would give the Hero 11 much better low light performance and would accommodate the better video resolution that we mentioned just a moment ago. But of course, a bigger sensor would likely mean that the Hero 11 might need to have a bigger body. And I'm not sure that's gonna be something that GoPro wants or whether the GoPro community will accept. So that's gonna be a gamble that they're gonna to have to figure out. Now, while we don't know for sure what's going to happen with the Hero 11, one thing is for certain, GoPro will have a lot more cameras in its lineup this fall. You may recall back in February this year, GoPro CEO Nick Woodman said that there's gonna be four distinct camera products by the end of this year just not two of them, what those other two products will remain to be seen. At any rate, it should be a very exciting couple months over at GoPro, and as more develops, as I mentioned a moment ago, we'll keep you guys informed with that as well. Well, friends, it's that time to shift gears and do the big announcement of our winners from our last giveaway. Drum roll, please. Paul Graff, you win the Manfrotto Pro Light Reloader Air 55. Truth Seeker, you win the 128 gig SD or Sandus SD card. And Kraken, you win the $100 Amazon gift, or excuse me, the Adorama gift card. Now, thank you all for participating in the giveaway and congratulations to our three lucky winners. Now, if you have been announced as one of the winners, please look down in the description below for the specific instructions for what you need to do to claim your prize. Now, let's preview our next giveaway, which starts right now. Here are the three prizes for the next 30 days. We have a Peak Design 35 liter travel duffel bag. We have a Peak Design camera uh, strap. And of course, $100 Amazon gift cards. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of the videos. <laughs> leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing it by, post some photos, let us know how you're doing. And friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. And uh, one thing before we go jumping on here, if you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for an account. It's free to do so and gives you access to literally thousand photography related articles on the site, including news articles about camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So take a moment, sign up for an account and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. And uh, now we're officially done for the day. It's, uh, well, I'm going to shut off my cameras, and so you guys get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.